Okay, now moving on from the celebrity news to the weird and wacky stories about the real people, places, and things that make you shake your head and say, you gotta be kidding me. Ha! Huh, it's one of my favorite segments of our show. Now, let's get right to it. Okay, this is a great way to start the new year. Yes. After a night of New Year's Eve partying, this is definitely something you can sink your teeth into. Ready for this? You talked about it earlier. A hangover burger. It has all the standard fixings, meat patties, lettuce and tomatoes, but also included are fried eggs, bacon, and whole barbecue chicken. Right, yeah. So <gasps> basically, you can see how big it is right there. Yeah. Finished product, measured six and a half feet tall, tipped the scales at more than 220 pounds, <laughs> and served as a New Year's Day snack for more than a dozen Australians. To me, it could feed a whole lot more people yeah. than that. And how could you sink your teeth into that? It can't. You can't get your mouth around that. Not That's even a disaster. One piece, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say, a lot of people me. breaking the New Year's resolution, eating that on the first day of the I New know. Year. That is definitely not I, diet food. I, this is what I say. I say the first day of the New Year doesn't count. If you're going to eat point. healthy, the first day of Today. the New Year doesn't count because it's you got to recover from true, you true. know all the festivities on the last day of the year, I and agree. then you got to have your comfort food, and you have to have that good good luck meal, and then <laughs> after that you can be healthy. Say. But when I see that burger, all I can <laughs> think is you got to be kidding me. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all been there. This is another one. Yeah. This, this one's really bad, actually. Driving around in circles, you know, through the parking lot, looking for a place to park. Well, mm -hmm. an Atlanta woman let her frustration get the best of her. Angela Cornett, a member of a local school board, no less, was so intent on getting. A spot that she ran down a 17 year old girl with her SUV in a dispute over a space at Walmart. Oh, come it on. It is really bad. Okay, so what they're telling us then is the teen was standing in the space, saving it for a friend who had just given birth, so right. she didn't have to walk far. Mm -hmm. But when Angela saw the spot, she demanded that the girl get out of the way. Now, when the girl refused, Cornette hit her with her vehicle. Okay, I have had road rage. I am known for it. I, I am a Jersey girl at heart, so okay, yes, I do have road rage. But I will never, ever, I promise you, hit a person for a space. That is ridiculous. That and is People sick. really do get crazy. It's like, you know, you talk about the holiday spirit, and mm -hmm. you definitely do not see it when you're on the roads or trying to park anywhere. I mean, Those parking lots, people get brutal, I'll tell you what. But here's something I learned, and, I, and I, you know, when I was in um, Florida, I went to the mall a few times, and it is packed. And my grandma kept saying, we're never going to get a space. We're never. I said, yes, we are. And if you put out the positive energy and you go out there expecting, it'll be fine. I'll get one. I'll get one. I swear, it worked every time. I actually got good spaces and had less rage. It's mm. If you really work down. yourself up, you can do something stupid like this woman did. I mean. Oh, the way I see it is more exercise for you. You know, the yeah. only time, it, you know, and out east is not bad at all. Like, I don't even complain. When I went home back mm -hmm. to South Carolina, no complaining about walking far because the weather's right. so mild. Right. Here, when it's cold, it's a little harder. It's tougher. You you gotta be kidding me. Don't please don't hit yeah. people waiting for a spot. <laughs> please don't do it. It's just not a good idea. No. Even when it's cold, which it will be all week, according yeah, to this one. It is. So if you're heading on out to do some shopping, bundle up.